What is up guys, my name is Winster, welcome back to The Average Fighter. Now today we are going to be having a discussion video of the turn of events that did happen recently at Undefeated 2018 just this past weekend. But before we get into that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Do not forget to mash the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, there is a lot to talk about. More importantly, we're gonna start from the bottom up till we get to our champion. I definitely wanted to touch base on the person, the teams that they're playing, the stone that they're actually playing. First and foremost, we got BLT Joel or YLT Cole, what he likes to also be called. Uh, one of the players from LV, really, really strong player. I don't know how they're seeing us right now currently, but it is speaking volumes in his play. Not only did he get top eight here in MVCI, but he also got top eight in DBZ Fighters. I think he got third, I could be wrong, but doing really, really great overall. Um, I've known Cole for quite some time, does have a Marvel 3 background. He's also playing Soulstone, so he's playing Strider and Doctor Strange. That team is really, really good. Unfortunately, Strider is a glass cannon and can't deal with a lot of damage. That's why he is playing the Soul Stone. But once he gets the ball rolling on his mix-ups, he does what Doctor Strange does because he is a support character. Gets the, the knockdown, sets up the Ivagamato, and then teleports or tags with Strider and just mixes you up for days. Like I said, he comes from that Marvel 3 background, so he has a lot. He's a really aggro player. Not that that's bad by any way, uh, but he's really, really strong. And he rage quit on me online one time. I remember we were playing, and he teabagged me, and I won the first match, and he just dipped out. I don't know if it was Wild T. Cole or BLT Joel. I, I don't know which one it was. I do not know which one it was, but shout out to Cole, doing fantastic, keep it up. Up next, we got another LV player, Prasic. So I did have the luxury of housing the guy, really, really nice. He is playing Nova Zero, uh, and he is also playing Soulstone. So that's our second Soulstone in this top of eight. Um, but really, really great player, really, really nice guy. Um, zero being zero and having everything that this game can offer has really really good rushdown has invincible wake-up supers has really really good zoning uh, can also just play neutral really really strong with Sugenmu and then you have a character like Nova that he's gonna be in your face all the time and at the same time on top of all this of dealing with that uh, you also have a soul stone, so you have to um, outplay the guy about three to four times just to get a win on him. Really, really strong team. I haven't really seen anyone play Zero Nova. I could be wrong, uh, but Prasic's getting top eight really speaks volumes on you know the LV scene. Him and Cole got top eight. He was a really nice guy. Hopefully he comes back, or hopefully I go to LV so I could body him again and body Zero Max. <laughs> I'm just joking. They're really, really great. Really great players. So up next, we got a player who personally beat me in winner's bracket. We got Knives. He tied for fifth place. He was playing Space, Dermammu, Sigma. That's our first Space Stone in this top eight. Um, but nevertheless, really, really good guy. Really, really strong player. He was playing casuals like no other with Noel Brown and just trying to get as many sets as he can. But overall, man, I mean, he could throw you out of anywhere full screen. You're going to tag, you finna get thrown. That's You're not going to get in for free. I don't know how this guy does it. This guy could be full screen in the corner and you tag, he's going to teleport to you and throw you. I don't know how he does it. He also comes from a Marvel 3 background. I don't know if he played anything else, but from the times when we're hanging out Kane's after the tournament, he really didn't talk about anything else. He just talked about how much he loves playing uh, Marvel Infinite. And it's really unfortunate that, you know, a lot of people don't like the game, but that's neither here nor there. Um, me and him had a pretty, pretty decent discussion of, you know, why he likes it. And hopefully we keep seeing more of him. I don't know if he goes to tournaments pretty often. I don't know. I think he went to Combo Breaker. I could be wrong. Uh, but shouts out to him for even coming out. I was not expecting knives and hopefully we get to play sometime soon. I hate playing online, uh, but hopefully we play soon. Up next, up next, we got the one, the only, the ninja, the soul of Kyle P, Ninja Nom. You know, ninja Nom, really great player. Probably one, probably the best player in Arizona. It's playing Nova, Doctor Strange. That is our second Nova and our second Doctor Strange. Um, and he is the only one in this top eight who is playing Time Stone. Now I'm really showing how good our scene is developing. Yeah, a lot of people aren't liking it, but that doesn't change the fact that this guy is getting top eights. And I'm really happy for the guy and I'm really proud of him. He's helped me personally 
Um, I hope he keeps doing fantastic and showing the world that Time Stone is whack. I mean, it's good. Keep showing the world that it's good. And I hope he doesn't give up on it. I know a lot of people over this weekend were telling him just switch to Space Stone. That is our first and only Time Stone in this top eight. Hopefully we see more. Up next we got our second Sigma and our first Morgan. This guy's also playing Space Stone and that is Kitsui. This guy, really, really nice guy. Me and him had, I know the score says different, but we had a close game. Um, we were both nervous and you guys want to check out my results and how I personally did. Make sure that you guys sh click on the video somewhere up here. I don't, I'm pretty sure he comes from a Marvel 3 background. He's also coming from Texas and Sigma being the character that Sigma is right now, really dominating this top eight. His Morgan is ridiculous, his setups, I do not know which way to block when he's coming at me with Astro Vision. Hopefully we get to see more of Kitsui uh, in these coming months or these coming years. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Kitsui or his specific team with, time, uh, with Space Stone make a lot more top 8. Sigma is on the rise. Morgan is also on the rise, but a lot of people are agreeing. She's been a good character. There's just nothing really to compliment her other than Sigma. In my personal opinion, there's like Monster Hunter, but I think Sigma is the best. Now coming up our top three. Now this man needs no introduction, man. We got Noel Brown playing Rocker Raccoon and Gamora. The cancer that is Rocker Raccoon and tie in a uh, Space Stone. Uh, so that is our that is our second Space Stone and our first Rocker Raccoon and Gamora. I I know this top eight really breathes more Sigma than anything, uh, but this character is no joke, my people. Raccoon is not one to slept on. Super tiny, you have to respect him on the 99. There's just a lot to this character, and uh, this character not being prevalent in this top eight is kind of amazing, uh, but at the same time, a lot of people at the venue did just didn't play Rocket Raccoon. I think that's why he lacked in this top eight. Not that he's not good and couldn't make it, it's because there was, wasn't anyone playing him. This is also our first Gamora. Gamora no, needs no introduction. Really, really strong character. Really capable of keeping you in and then just bringing Rocket Raccoon to set up more champs and you're, then you're gonna eat a 50-50 high lows. It's just it's just too much. It's just too much. I'm really happy for Noel Brown. Noel Brown just being so consistent in these top eights uh, and also with that Space Stone. Once he kills a character mixes you up he's gonna lock you in that box and you finna block my guy hopefully we see more of uh noel brown in this coming years i don't know if he's won a major yet but he's been so close i remember overhearing him talking to yipes he goes to winners finals and loses two straight hopefully that is not the drill for this guy at second place we got brill coming up and this is going to be our third sigma and our second morgan and our second morgan sigma duo also playing Space Stone. Uh, this guy got second place at Undefeated, man. He only lost to Ninja Nam in Stealth. This kid is like 19. He just graduated high school. Hopefully, we see more of Jabril. He does come from a Marvel 3 background, but he does play other games like DBZ Fighter, Street Fighter 5. Really prevalent in the fighting game series. Definitely like seeing the new kids beat the old people. But up next, we got our champion, Stealth or Stealthy Nico. Really, really nice guy. Really, really soft spoken. Um, really easy to talk to at the same time. Uh, he went completely undefeated here. Uh, I, this guy's ridiculous. But the thing is, is, he was playing two variants of his team. He was playing Zero Sigma, Dante Zero. But more importantly, he was playing Dante Zero. But, you know, if you switch between the teams, that would be our fourth Sigma in top eight. That's ridiculous. It only speaks volumes of what this character is capable of, but that would be our second Zero and our first Dante. I mean, the guy is is really, really good at the game. I think he recently won a tournament. I can't remember off of the top of my head what's the name of the tournament, but Nico is coming through. He was also the Battle of the Stones, and really, I think he got like fourth place there. I could be wrong, uh, but Nico really coming in in his own here. I'm pretty sure he comes from a Marvel 3 background as well. Um, I think a lot of, I think 99% of these players come from a Marvel 3 background, or even further than that. But it's showing how the new people are coming into the scene it isn't your justin wong's you know your f champs or your chris g's not that they don't or they can't make top eight it's just it's nice to see new faces it's nice to see someone else dominate or your ryan lv's um and and it goes to say that they're not bad at all and i would love to see them play 
but it's nice to see other people win too. If those people actually entered the tournament, would this top eight be a lot different? I think so. But it's always good to discuss how the rankings within characters and within people are actually developing as time progresses. Now, as far as it goes, guys, this top eight is really, really strong top eight. I don't think no player here didn't deserve the top eight. Um, and that goes for everyone. They've been here before. Some of them have been here multiple times. I mean, the way the game's progressed and a lot of people are leaning towards Sigma being the answer to Rocket Raccoon. Even though there's so many Sigmas here, there's only one Rocket Raccoon, but Rocket Raccoon player did lose to the Sigma players. So it's nice to see that we're finding answers and this game is actually evolving to something more. You're not seeing Reality Stone and, you know, Space Stone just all the time. You see, you see a mixture, you see Soul, you see One Time, you have a couple of Space Stones in there. And, and it's nice to see other than just always the same thing or always the same team. And it's great to see all that developing. I like it when games develop and this game is nowhere near dead. There was 35 entries for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Um, I definitely want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions on this top 8. What do you guys think of Undefeated? I want to know what do you guys think how the tier list is going to develop because after this I do think a lot of people are going to put Sigma a lot higher on their tier list. Is Sigma going to go up there? Is Sigma closing in? Are we figuring out these answers to Rocket Raccoon and how to deal with the top tier? Are we finally understanding how to really play neutral? I definitely want to know what you guys think of this top eight. What's the next tournament that you guys are going to actually go to? Leave it in the comments below guys. I would love to check that out. And without further ado, thank you so much for tuning in. These were my thoughts of the top eight and my overview of the top eight. My name is Winster. This is The Average Fighter, and I will check you guys out later.